Welcome to AC3 TV. I'm here with David Holmes once again. Thank you so much for having us here at the opening of the Embassy Oaks. We love it here. You've got awesome memorabilia. The place looks incredible. So tell me a bit about the new renovations that have just happened. Well, thanks, Skinner. We're so glad you could make it tonight. So tonight, we celebrate the reopening of the great Embassy Theater, which is a special theater for Santicos because it was the last theater that John Santicos and his father designed together. So the company is 106 years old. Uh, Mr. Santicos, Louis Santicos, handed the company off to his son, John. And this was the last collaboration they did together as father and son designing a theater. So when it came time to renovate it, we thought, let's do something really special. Perfect, what a wonderful end to the legacy right there. You know, 100%. It's gonna be, ama it's gonna be amazing. So y'all need to stop by ASAP. This place is incredible. So tell me a little bit about what your goals are for Santicos and the philanthropy in the San Antonio business community? Well, you know, that that's a really easy question to answer because what we're trying to do is create awareness. So what people have to realize is that when you come to a Santicos theater, that what you're doing is hopefully having a great movie going experience, but also everything that we do is to benefit the community. Mm -hmm. So when you walk up here at the, at, the, at the new embassy, you're gonna walk up this plaza that we call the Plaza of the Stars. And it's a tribute to the stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and it looks and feels exactly like that. It's beautiful. But instead of having stars names, it has the names of eight what we call areas of interest. And these are the places where John Santico said, I want my legacy, I want my money to be spent benefiting these categories. So it's everything from children to the elderly to scientific research to education to all these areas that he designated. And tonight we announced that for the city of San Antonio, we've given another half a million dollars to a total of 25 charities. Wow. And what that does is that puts us right on the $20 million mark that we've done in, in, in this year, in 2016, to a, a whole list of charities, 170 charities in total. Wow. So our mission for Santicos is just to make people realize that when they come here, they're doing way beyond just going to a movie. No kidding. So let's just jump right into it. You want to go through a walkthrough and show everybody the theater? I would love to about? do that. I, I feel like the proud papa here. I, gotta, <laughs> I, I want to show it off, baby. Absolutely. So. I want to show everybody that's watching right now how incredible this theater is and what they have to offer, especially these awesome props that they've got going on. It's not just about the props, obviously. It's about the community. So let's jump right into it. Let's show, show us what it's about. All right, but it's a lot about the props. I mean, <laughs> come on. So what we wanted to do is create a venue here that is a celebration of the grand year of the movies, right? So when you walk in the door, you're going to look up and you're going to see kind of a motif that's reminiscent of the okay. original theater that Louis Santicos opened in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. It was called The Palace. It was down on Houston Street. The old building is still there. And all we have is some old black and white pictures of it, but it kind of has this sort of gothic turn of the century look and feel that's from the heydays of movies. <laughs> and so what we want to do is create something that's a celebration of movie going, right? So we said, what better to do that than a memorabilia collection? You absolutely nailed it from a cinematic perspective. I mean, this place is incredible. You've nailed everything from the props to the decor oh, of the location. So like, that's great. To hear. It really like I wish I was born in a later day so I could see I could see <laughs> cinemas as they are. This is as close as he's gonna get for me. Uh, I've never been in the theater. This is pretty amazing. This prestigious. I, I have to admit. Thank you very much. <laughs> so wonderful. But so what we have is a collection of memorabilia. Yes, sir. All yes, of sir. it is is screen worn. So everything you see in the memorabilia memorabilia collection. Or items that were actually worn in the piece. So Matt Damon wore this. Matt Damon wore that. Uh, one of the one of the cast members of the Shawshank Redemption wore that. And what a great trivia question would be is if you photograph that number, the prisoner number, you have to figure out who wore that. Oh, okay. Right? So, so I, I did figure it out, but uh, so I know. <laughs> he googled. He googled. <laughs> you, I, I you know. <laughs> yeah. He did. He did back. real research. Yeah, absolutely. So this, is the, this is the outfit. Uh, that was worn in Forrest Gump by Tom Hanks during the famous ping pong scene. And so um, you can see there, there are some pieces of it that are that are very notable. Like there's a little mark above the Lion Army, and that's not by accident. That was a camera angle shot where they mark the uniform so they can line up a camera. Oh, and wow. then they take it out when they actually edit the film. <laughs> very um, interesting. This is some Star Wars stuff. Oh, this is all, that. again, Green War stuff. Both of these are designed by the original designer. And everybody that's a Star Wars fan is going to recognize this. I love it. The Ben Hur outfit has got a story behind it. So we got this, and they're hard to come by. It's very damaged. Well, it, it, it is. And so we got it. We got it out of the box after 
we, we, we picked it up in the auction with one of the studios, and we thought, we got ripped off. This thing is fantastic, but it's dented. <laughs> but if you read the, the, the material that comes with it, it was after the wreck, right? The wreck <laughs> material crash. So this is actually pretty beat up. But if you saw the movie, you know it deserves every nick and scrape that it got. So, Absolutely. So that's what's in the lobby. And then out, out down each hallway is additional memorabilia. I saw some. Uh, in fact, I saw a born. You want to go that way? I want to go see right, the born okay, because he is the hugest born fan. Read all the books, seen all the movies. So both sides of the theater have memorabilia. So there's there's sepia tone sculpture, or, or rather artwork, of all great famous stars from a lot of great films. The Titanic. Right. This is a this is a life vest from the the original shooting of the, the movie Titanic, and that's a piece of flooring that came off of the deck that was shot. You know, during the film, that's a piece of the deck material. But that's an actual jacket wow. from the filming of the movie. So that's this is one of my favorites. <laughs> that's incredible, Leo. Oh my God. You know, the Hunger Games stuff is kind of more my kids' generation, yeah. but it's cool. So, <laughs> you know, I, we, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't get this done without my, my kids coming here without having this. So, so we did a little Hunger Games action. But this is my favorite. Keeping right? up with the family environment, obviously. Exactly. So this is my favorite. I'm a huge Matt Damon fan. I'm a huge Born Supremacy fan. And so you can see this is the jacket that he wore in the shooting of that film. You know, I thought he was much bigger. You know, a lot of people say that, but I think what they did is they made it smaller so his muscles would bigger. It's buff. I should do that. I guess, you know, so, so that's a, that's a piece from the from the born. It's a good tip to get a tailored suit. Yeah, you know, right. and, and, and it's all tailored stuff. So <laughs> very typical. So Incredible. That's my favorite piece in the collection. Right? Uh, yeah, so absolutely. If this shows up missing, we can look at it's, it's, Yeah, there. it's in his office for sure, or his uh, home. My excitement about this kind of space is is for corporate events. You know, if you want to preserve this theater, I think there's. With 30 some odd seats in here, you can have a nice corporate event where you can have the theater exclusively for people from your company. If you wanted to host a birthday, a birthday party, party, yeah, yeah. exactly, you have your own, your own private theater. And so when we recline and put in these big oversized seats, you lose some seating, which is designed by design. And so what we tried to create here was just a really intimate environment where you can come. You know, maybe it's date night, you grab some good food at the at the counter, bring it in here. You can have drinks brought in, etc. So we've made a big investment in the seating, in the sound system, and in the projection. It's 100% laser digital, which is really a great picture. And so I think people are, the, the hardcore moviegoer is going to really appreciate it. I loved it. You nailed my demographic. There you go. <laughs> no doubt. The hardcore moviegoer, right? <laughs> I love it. All right, so, all right, so we invited some celebrities oh. to our event. Marilyn? Yeah. Harley Quinn? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> So this is one of the one of the favorites of the night. Who doesn't stuff. love Pirates of the Caribbean? You gotta have some Caribbean stuff. So Pirates of the Caribbean. This is again all screen worn material, screen used props. Mm -hmm. um, and so these were actually separate pieces that we, we bought at different at, from different studios and at different auctions. And so we put it all together for that for that one. Experience. I love it. And then this is uh, you know there's so many great boxing movies we had South to only Pong? get one. So Southpaw. Was what went out. San Antonio is a huge boxing city. It really as well. is, right? Yeah, so it, it suits it well. This will be one that'll rotate around to other theaters as a part of the collection, but it's one of my favorite pieces. And then, of course, this one. The horror buffs. I mean, you got of Texas this, and San so. Antonio. Here it is. Yep. And so this is kind of the horror section of the whole thing. So you'll notice it's down here. So if you don't want to bring your kids down <laughs> to the scary part of the theater you can come here you know when i was little my brothers used to terrify me with a replica of the freddy krueger glove oh i mean that's, that's the real freddy, freddy krueger i wouldn't glove even right go there, so. trick-or-treating forever because no, of them like, they got me you know, some people are really scarred by what we see here <laughs> you being one of them, really right. so. well, i'm over it now but, i'm over uh, it now but you know there it is so we got a little bit of everything and what we're going to do over time is add to the collection and our goal is to have a something different every time you come to the theater you come here because you want a great movie experience, but you also want to see some cool stuff. So is this something that's going to be swapping out every quarter? You know, what our goal is, is most people, depending on how often you want to go to the movies, what we want is every time you come, there's something different. So mm -hmm. we haven't yet figured out exactly what that rotation will look like, but what we want to do is have a collection that's big enough and in enough breadth and enough material to where what we can do is rotate it around to various theaters. We'll have a permanent collection in our home office, and then what we want to do is from time to time, Take a piece and donate it to a charity, right? <laughs> that is let them great. Auction, let them auction it off, and it'll be kind of in keeping with our charitable mission. It'll be a cool piece of Santico's movie memorabilia, right? So, so Santico's is eventually going to give you the opportunity to own your own piece of movie memorabilia. 
Now we may be the only nerds that would really want that, <laughs> but I would I would I'd pay I'd pay great money for right? that. I, mean, I would have to have it. So <sighs> so anyway, so we have also done we've commissioned an artist. I see the artwork, yes, I love really it. Really cool portraits of pieces that are uh, of, of star spaces. Now there would be a great contest that we should do where you take somebody and you walk them from one end to the other and they have to name all of these because you know it's amazing <laughs> that would be great. how many people don't know them all. Right? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so there's just all, all of them, there's there's a Bill Murray here. There's a bunch of different pieces. I love the Audrey Hepburn. The Audrey Hepburn is great, yeah, right? Yeah, I loved it. So the, the goal is just to really celebrate the golden age of movies. So that that was the idea. This theater nails that. That's good. One hundred percent. That is so great. I, I love it here. It's just you're you're stepping back in time when you come into the theater. One hundred percent. Well, that's, <laughs> that's good to hear, man. <laughs> I dig it. Except technology. It. The technology is all. Good <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> the mixing the old with the new, and there it's it's go. a perfect mixture of both. I love it. Well, that's good to hear. Well, Mr. Holmes, thank you so much for your time once again. Appreciate that. Thank you for Skinner. showing us the theater, and we'll see you next time. All right. Uh, for Spider Man once again, because I know that's your favorite. Spider Man character. or Jason Bourne. <laughs> either one, either, either, either one, one of the one. two. All right. All well, right. we got it. Well, thank you so much for your time, thank and we'll you see you too. next time. I'm Skinner, and this is AC3 TV with David Holmes here at Santico's Embassy Theaters. All right. We'll see you next time.